Hi guys, Dave in Texas here, and what you're looking at right at the moment is a Line 6 switcher. Alright, it's meant for your amp, and yes, it's a foot pedal, but you know, it's not for your guitar, it's for your amp. Just like that voice foot pedal I bought and showed you. It's not a guitar foot pedal, it's for your amp. <laughs> okay, so anyway, now you've got an amp foot pedal that can switch your settings, your presets, all day, all night long. And get this, they wanted, I think, 30, 40 bucks for it. I paid only 20 bucks for the switcher. And yes, it worked before I bought it. I had to make sure to test it on the amps they had that would work with it, okay? So what it does, basically, is you go to your amp, right? You go to your presets, okay? And you type in whatever you want for your presets. All right, now I got some pretty simple stuff put in. Point her out. Sci-fi baby. Homesick. And wood shred, right? And what it does, it switches your stuff automatically to fit what you're playing. Get it? All four channels. Now, you can set this up for, I think, 16. Right? When you do it, go this and you go backwards. It goes to the next four, then you go forward again. Anyway, it's pretty slick how this thing works. And like I said, for 20 bucks, you don't have to walk back to your amp. You don't have to make a motion to the sound guy playing, you know, working on the board. Or just being lazy like I am and switch to your presets as you're recording so you don't have to worry about it. Pretty nice not to just stop and you switch and go to a different guitar tone, right? So you're playing along, da 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 da. All of a sudden, you want to uh, switch to a real heavy lead. Well, you go from uh, you know pointer out to uh, sci-fi baby, or you go to a uh, wood shred, right? While you're recording, so that's pretty nice when you're doing a one-man show and have all this available for only twenty bucks. I mean, you can't beat that, guys. Come on. <laughs> so the lesson today is. Go to the pawn shops, make sure to check out everything, not just the guitars, check out the rigs as well. And of course, don't ever buy something that's not working or you haven't tested it to make sure it does work. You don't want to bring this thing home, have to take it back because it broke for 20 bucks. You know, more than likely, you just throw it in the junk pile or try to fix it yourself like I do. <laughs> so, any questions about this or any of these projects on these fake guitars, give me a holler. Dave in Texas. Bye.